Hi there everybody, back again. Yeah, what a weekend, eh? Um, play this weekend in Blackpool. Got up there, had a great time. It got a little bit messy for me on the Saturday, but uh, I'll explain to you about that in a minute anyway. But um, yeah, I've got a few pickups anyway. So, on the Friday morning I had to do a little bit of work, so I headed into work and I had to be in Sleaford for a um, fucking hell. Do some like half past seven. Sorted out that little bit of work. Um, got all that done. Jumped over to Big Two. You've got there about half past twelve. Started ending up the M6, um, and it was just total fucking chaos going up the M6. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Got to Richard Turner's late on. He laid on some food for us and things, and he was nice to meet him. Tootie dropped a few bits off. And then we had made our way up to Blackpool. Got there, I think, about half past four or something like that. So we checked in to the hotel and had a quick freshen up. And then we met up at um, Tootie's Hotel with um, 2D Rob and some other guys. Um, <clears throat> great to meet them all. Um, had a point there. And then we got the tram up to the Norbreck. And everybody seemed to be at the Norbreck. What the fuck's gone on here with this? How odd. Hmm. Now that is fucking odd. So, I don't know what's gone on there. Oh, I'll fucking shut it down before I get into that anyway. Bit of a malfunction live on camera there. Um, so, we got up there and we met everybody and... Yeah, it was great to meet um, Willie Weevil and everybody else whose names I can't fucking remember because it was just too mad. Had a few points there. Some of people got a little bit uh, messy. Um, headed back from there to the hotel about 12 o'clock. Got me head down. On the Saturday, got up, had a little bit of breakfast, um, got up to the venue, got in the venue. A little bit disappointed with the traders in there compared to last year. Um, arcade side of things and the gaming machines just bang on as always which was great got a few pickups um, Saturday afternoon headed into town had a little look around down there and made the mistake of going in the Merry England bar and having a few points on the Saturday afternoon just fucking killed me and I was obliterated so that was the end of Saturday for me Sunday, got back in there, a few more little pickups, say hi to a few people, um, it was good, it was good, and then, um, you know, um, that was more or less it, there's only so many times you can go around the fucking place, you know what I mean, there's just nothing to do, and the kind of games I wanted to play, apart from the arcade machines I've got at home, so, yeah, so, it was good, got my ass kicked at FIFA 5 nil, but that's another story. So um, I'll show you a few pickups, shall I? Right, okay, so um, this one came before I went to play. As you all know, Pang on the PC Engine. Great fucking game, great game. I've only been used to playing Super Pang, but uh, it obliterates that. So next one was a trade with Mr. Tootie. Ghouls and Ghosts on the snares. NTSCJ, looking forward to playing that. I'll even stick that on in a moment. Next one was from our seller at the expo and an expensive title, Balloon Fight. I think I had that back in the day, but I could be wrong. But it looks great. I just want to play. Uh, another one I used to have on the Amiga, this one was Xenon 2 Mega Blast. Looking forward to playing that. Bring back memories. Now this one, I used to have Skate or Die. This fucker's called Ski or Die. I don't know, just thought I'd give it a try of interest. See what it was like. That's on the NES. Another one that I always used to look at in boots, but never back in the day bought it. And I always wanted it, but just never got round to it. Is Track and Field 2. Bit of a button basher going on there. You can't argue for seven quid complete. Fuck you, man. Next one's um, NTSC import. Well, that's Defender 2. 
all of shooters as you know anything to do with Defender or any old school ones I have to have um, next one Mr. Tootie got me a bit of a deal on this one he got me a discount on it for bundling everything together so I'm grateful of that another childhood one which is Super Off-Road I used to love this game in the arcade fucking four player or you know I think I used to have it on the um, I think I used to have it on the Amiga to be honest with you thinking back but hey I've got it on the NES now so I will give that a whirl and another one we have which was another um, old Amiga one that I used to have and I've now bought it back but on the Mega Drive Chaos Engine fucking classic and I'm sure there was a follow up to the Chaos Engine on the um, Atari Jaguar it's one that I haven't got I don't know why, I just don't found it on guess, or maybe it's the price. I don't know. But we'll get there one day with that full jack set. Um, went into Blackpool on the Saturday afternoon before I got obliterated. I ended up going to Granger Games and buy Tropico 5 on PS4, which I think I might load up in a moment. And I bought a bit of vinyl from HMV. I know vinyl's not to everybody's taste, but I'm going to show it anyway. And we ended up with a copy of an NWA album, which I used to have back in the day. First time I ever went to America, I bought it on cassette. I used to play it over and over and over again. It was a great album. Big fan of Easy E. And that was about it, really. Um, headed back on the Sunday. Me and Tootie thought we'd get back reasonably early, so you've got a bit of the bank holiday left and a bit of the day left, so it didn't feel like you were just getting back to go back to work the next morning, but um, all in all, it was a good trip, and um, I think my next trip away is probably Nerd Gateshead in June. So if anybody's looking for a lift, hit me up, if you're local, and I'll uh, meet up with you and I'll take you up there. So yeah. All in all, great weekend, and uh, it was brilliant to see some of you guys, really was. Until next time, keep gaming.